Today I'm going to show you how to unload and load material into your MarkForge printer. We're going to be doing this on an X7, but it's the same process for all MarkForge composite printers. All you need to do this is a fresh roll of material and a cutting tool such as the clips I have here. To get started, open both covers starting with the top cover first and then the front cover. You can replace material during a print by hitting pause first and then following the prompts on the screen. When you pause a print, you're given the option to reload materials. If you haven't started a print yet, you can still load materials by going to the menu and then the materials section. From here, you can either load or unload plastic. When you pause a print, the reload option pops up on the screen. If you haven't started a print yet, you can go to the menu and then materials. Here you'll have the option to load and unload plastic. We'll start by unloading the material that's already in the machine. Click unload plastic. It's gonna heat up the nozzle before proceeding. Once the nozzle has reached temperature, follow those prompts on the screen to swap out the material. It'll give you instructions on how to cut the plastic from the extruder. The instructions on the screen will tell you to cut the filament coming into the inlet and remove the Bowden tube on the outlet of the extruder. The extruder is found up in the top left corner of the machine. To cut the filament on the inlet side, you'll need to remove the feed tube coming into the extruder. You may need two hands to do this. Push the pneumatic connector towards the extruder while pulling the tube away. Once you've exposed the filament, you can go ahead and cut it with your cutting tool. Then, unscrew the Bowden tube on the other side of the extruder. You'll try and pull it away and you'll notice this little nut that's in there. Pull that aside so you have the filament exposed. Once you've followed the instructions on the screen, click next to force out the remaining plastic from the extruder. The extruder will push the remaining filament through the outlet. You can use two fingers to gently pull on the filament as it's being pushed through. Once it's all the way through, it'll come loose and you can pull it out by hand. On the front panel, you can say stop once it has come all the way through. If the material didn't make its way through the extruder the first time around, you can hit retry and pull on the filament as it's coming out of the outlet. Next, the panel will tell you to remove the remaining plastic from the Bowden tube. To do this, simply grab the end of the plastic and pull it out. Once you've removed the plastic, click next and you've successfully unloaded material. Before loading new material into the printer, it's important to put the Bowden tube back into the extruder. Put the silver end into the outlet of the extruder and then tighten the thumb screw. We can leave the Bowden load tube out for now. We'll follow the steps on the front panel to load the material. Click load plastic. Ideally, you always want to do a metered load, which will give you the best estimation of how much material is left in the machine. When you click metered load, you'll get these options. Since we're loading in a brand new spool of material, we'll hit full spool and it'll begin to heat up the nozzles. Open the lower compartment of the printer and you will see the dry box. The dry box has two latches. Remove the old spool and pull through any other materials. Take the old desiccant packet and discard it. At this point, you should still have your new spool of material in its original packaging. 
it's very important to keep it in its packaging until this step because the material does absorb moisture, which will affect your print quality. Remove the spool holder from the old roll of material and place it onto the new roll. The spool holder is magnetic. Free the end of the filament, being sure to always keep hold of it. You don't want this filament to unroll and get tangled. I also recommend clipping off the bent part, making easy, loading easier. Place the roll back into the dry box, making sure the filament comes from the bottom over the roll. Then you'll feed it into the fitting at the back of the dry box. Once it's in, start feeding the plastic through the load tube. You'll continue to feed it through until you see plastic come out of the load tube that we removed earlier from the extruder. Now that we have the material fed through the feed tube, it's important to close the dry box quickly. The material comes with two fresh desiccant packets and place them in the bottom. Never put more than two des desiccant packets in the dry box. Be sure to clip the latches fully. They will make a click once you have it all the way down. Once the nozzle reaches temperature, it will tell you to clear out any leftover filament, which we've already done. Clicking next will activate the extruder motor. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.